Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Sonic Adventure DX The Director's Cut. After that truly insightful cutscene, we were thrust straight into a boss battle with Chaos Zero, our secondary antagonist for this game, I guess you could call it. This game is a remake of the Dreamcast Sonic Adventure 1, and they have done next to nothing to improve it graphically. Oh man. So here we have Chaos in all of his awesome glory. He's gone on to appear in many other Sonic games, takes three hits to the brain. <laughs> the game is evil like that. We can, for this part of the game, we control our hero Sonic, who's in that awkward phase of being overweight from Sonic um, Three and Knuckles, and to being not fat in Sonic Adventure Two. He also looks really bad in this game, as do most characters. Come on, you big drip. Where you going? This game is the first Sonic game to incorporate voice acting. If you couldn't already tell, it's also the first 3D Sonic game. Other than Sonic 3D Blast, but do you really count that? You know nothing, fool! It's Chaos, the god of destruction! Thank you, Eggman. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's actually hilarious to watch, I don't know why. He's just there, taunting Sonic, and Sonic can't even see him. So yeah, this game was released in, I think, 2000 and... It was in, released in 1999 on the Sega Dreamcast, which I actually owned, but it's somewhere, I don't know where it is. And... Huh? Now, it's on the GameCube, it was a remake, it was... What? Tails? Honestly, I've done next to nothing to improve it. Ah. This is also, I think it's... Oh yeah, other than Jack and Daxter, this is the only Tails. game I've done with voice acting. Oh, <laughs> used to this, folks. It's not the best voice acting in the entire world. I'd go to say it's some of the worst. Hello, poly polygonal people. I can't say it. Right, anyway, we move on to our first stage, Emerald Coast. I do, in fact, believe there are 11 stages in all. Each is visited by each character, I think. One stage is visited twice, and every other stage is visited three times one, uh, by various characters. This game is the first game, well, it's the first 3D Sonic game, and it's pretty good. I, it's not my favorite 3D Sonic game. I'm sure it's not many people's favorite 3D Sonic, ga 3D Sonic games, but I have to say the Sonic levels are really fun. They're better than the Sonic levels in Sonic Hero or the levels in Sonic Heroes, and they're better than Shadow the Hedgehog and Sonic 06. Not better than Unleashed though. There's a way out which we just clipped through. This was the this level was the Dreamcast tech demo. And you're actually in no control of Sonic here, so he just goes on his own. No matter what you do, you can't do anything. Yeah, this is the Dreamcast tech demo, which looked amazing back then. But now not so much. This game works on the live system. Um, I'm getting confused. Yeah, this game works on the life system. 100 wings equals a lot wings. 100 wings equals a life, and grabbing a life box will also ga gain you a life. The levels are normally comprised of uh, a few different sections, with often a music change, 
which the music in this game, oh god, that was awful. The music in this game de de um, deserves a mention. It is very good. Sonic uh, games often do have good music, and this is no exception. I really enjoy the music in this game. It's got this weird jazzy quality, and instrumentation and instrumentation is great too. So as you can see, what else do we have? Well, there's a timer. I think when that reaches like 10 minutes you die or something, I don't know. I've never... the levels are short enough to not need it. And I'm already on 8 lives. And this game isn't particularly hard like all the other Sonic games were. Or like the first three were. Ooh, man, that's annoying. That's very annoying. Whatever. We're coming up to the end of the stage, as if you <laughs> didn't explain it, but now we have to rescue Tails, our favourite fox... Oh, two-tailed yes. fox sidekick, I guess. Get a score, which is totally pointless. Haha, <laughs> see what I did there? Score points. Haha, <laughs> no. Yeah, not bad. Rescue Tails, level C completed. There are three levels for each um, mission. I won't be doing all of them because they're all tedious as all heck. I'm just going to be doing the story missions. No mission mode. Not getting all the emblems. A few. It made you crash. It's not your plane. <laughs> oh my god. It's been a while since I last played this. I'd rather not, but alright. Tails happens to be one of my favourite Sonic characters. Hooray, we can now play with Tails. We'll begin to that after we complete Sonic's story. Ouch. So, without spending any time... Well yeah, Tails is the fastest way by train. I thought Sonic was the fastest thing alive. The train headed for the Mystic Ruins will be departing soon. Meh. Come on. Come on. There we go. It's a bit glitchy with how you get on the train. And then, loading screen. Mr. Green's our second of three adventure fields. First being Station Square, the second, bi uh, the third being one I'm not going to disclose yet. But if you're anybody, you will know who it is. Or oh, well, what it is. So this is the Mr. Green's, it's kind of cool. It's got, like, really bad music, though. Up there is Tales of Rock, you can see it, but I'm going to hold off on going up there because I know what's coming up next. If you've played the game before, you will too. So... I hope you'll enjoy my Sonic Adventure DX Director's Cut run, and I will see you next time.